folks, and welcome to uh, Trab's Fryer. Today I'm going to be doing a Chinese stir fry. I'll show you my method of making Chinese stir fry Trab's way. As you can see, I've already got my white rice underneath a boil here. Rice takes quite a while to cook as we all know. It'll take about 20 minutes. I've already had this going for about 10 to 12 minutes now. The first thing you want to do is group together some rice and have it come to a boil. And then you want to turn it down to about in between medium and medium low and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. So what I'll be doing today, uh, aside from the rice, I I'm going to be doing a stir fry. For my main protein, I'm going to be using a uh, chicken, chicken strips uh, from chicken breasts. I've already sliced them thinly. I'm already prepared and I have already um, combined soy sauce in here. These have already been marinated in the soy sauce and I've had them now sitting in the refrigerator for some time for about four hours or more. Okay, so for my um, my other add-ins here, I've got a nice plump green pepper here, green bell pepper. I will be using. Also got a nice voluptuous red bell pepper here that I will be using. Okay, so let's get to uh, slicing and dicing. Go ahead and take out the core here, green bell pepper, just like that. Toss that aside. Cut down the center of that. And you can cut it into strips like this. Nice and easy, see? Way you don't have to deal with all the excess seeds that are in the center. Unless if you like the seeds, then go ahead, you know. So, just like that. Get several strips here. That's about good like that. And then I'm going to want some red pepper here. Same method, cut the center core. Just like that. That's about good like that. Take them, cut them in half, about like that. Okay, also here, what I have to add in is a um, part of an Asian cucumber core. I'm just going to slice a few strips of this. smaller strips like that. Add that in too. Now my rice is most likely done so I'm going to just go ahead and keep that on medium heat. But I'm going to remove this 
to a different burner. I'm going to add my Wolfgang Punk skillet to the main burner. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here, since the skillet is heating up, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Bertoli olive oil, a couple of tablespoons on the skillet there, so it would help uh, ignite for my cooking source. While I'm waiting on that for the skillet to look, get a little bit warm, I'm going to go ahead and drain the rice here. some butter and I added about a tablespoon and a half of butter so it's a little bit on the thick consistency here as far as the rice is right now. now I'm just going to set this aside alright so now I believe this is hot enough now I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken strips in. Turn the heat down just a little bit. It's a little bit below medium. As far as the seasonings go, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, garlic powder, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, right on top. about a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a little bit of a uh, sesame seed. Just like that. I know the Chinese they love to use ginger in their cooking. And they also love to use uh, sesame seeds. But it's kind of a traditional way also the soy sauce it all composes together and it makes for the better stir fry so you want to let this uh, let the chicken cook for about six to seven minutes maybe flip it in between through it's been a couple minutes now like that Make sure it gets thoroughly cooked all the way through. While well, it's cooking away, go ahead. Get my rice on my plate.
most likely the chicken is done now. Get a little sample taste. Mm. That's good. What I'm going to do is remove my chicken from the skillet. I'm going to plate this right on top of the rice here. Thanks for watching Trev's Fryer. I'll see you next time.